Welcome to our geologic exploration of the Fly Geyser, located in the heart of the Nevada desert in the United States. This mesmerizing geothermal wonder has captivated the imagination of scientists and nature enthusiasts alike, with its unique features and ever-changing landscape. The Fly Geyser is not a naturally occurring geyser, but rather a man-made geothermal feature that resulted from human drilling activities in the area in the 1960s. A geothermal exploration well was drilled in an attempt to find sources of geothermal energy, but the drilling process hit a geothermal hotspot and water started escaping to the surface, creating the fly geyser. Over time, the escaping hot water, minerals, and gases from the geothermal reservoir have created the unique terraces and mineral formations that we see today. The minerals, including calcium carbonate and silica, are carried by the hot water to the surface, where they are deposited and gradually build up over time, creating the stunning terraced formations and pools that adorn the landscape around the geyser. One of the most striking features of the fly geyser is its vibrant colors, which are a result of the mineral deposition on the terraces and pools. The terraces are formed from the continuous deposition of minerals as the hot water flows down and evaporates, leaving behind colorful layers of minerals that give the geyser its otherworldly appearance. The constantly changing landscape of the fly geyser is another unique feature. The mineral deposition and water flow patterns are dynamic, constantly shaping and reshaping the landscape. Over time, the terraces and pools may shift in size, shape, and color, creating a visually stunning and ever-evolving natural spectacle. Fly Geyser has drawn the attention of scientists and researchers who are interested in understanding the geothermal processes, mineral deposition, and geologic history associated with the geyser. Studies have been conducted to analyze the chemical composition of the hot water, gases, and minerals, as well as the microbial life that may thrive in this extreme geothermal environment. Access to Fly Geyser is restricted as it is located on private land. Visitors are not allowed to approach or touch the geyser, and there are no designated trails or viewing platforms. However, there are guided tours available that provide visitors with the opportunity to learn about the geology, geothermal processes, and history of Fly Geyser from knowledgeable guides while respecting the private property and fragile ecosystem. It is important to note that responsible visitation is crucial to protect the delicate geologic features and the surrounding environment. Visitors should adhere to all posted signs, follow any guidelines provided by the tour operators, and avoid disturbing the natural formations or leaving any trace behind. 